London underground workers will stage two more strikes in the dispute over night tube plans, three unions said. The 24-hour walkouts will begin at 18.30 BST on Tuesday, August 25th and at 18.30 on Thursday, August 27th. Rail, Maritime, and Transport, RMT, the Transport Salaried Staffs Association, TSSA, and Unite Union members will strike about work-life balance and job cuts with September's night time tube. The 24-hour service is set to be introduced on September 12th. Hell bent on action. Station staff will strike from 18.30 each day and drivers from 2100 hours in the protest, which follows two earlier strikes, on August 6th and on July 8th. Disruption is likely to be felt from Tuesday evening until Friday night, owing to the knock-on impact of each strike to the service. The train driver's union ASLEF is yet to decide on the action it will take. A spokesman for Mayor of London Boris Johnson said, the union leadership appear hell-bent on strike action and the mayor is dismayed at their continued failure to put what is a fair, sensible, and generous offer on the table to their members. He said the workers were being offered an above-inflation pay rise, cash bonuses, and the commitment no one would have to work more hours than they do today and that strike action was completely unnecessary. Rosters from hell. But Manuel Cortez at the TSSA said it was time for the mayor to start getting his hands dirty and get down to serious direct negotiations to avoid a week of disruption on the tube. He said, he will blame the rail unions for the disruption but the traveling public will be asking why he has allowed these talks to drag on for six months while he refused to meet the union leaders themselves. General Secretary at the RMT Mick Cash said the union's members didn't want to be forced to wreck their home lives in order to comply with the rosters from hell. He said tube staff were angry Mr. Johnson had ignored their issues. Running tube services with fatigued and burnt out staff is a recipe for disaster, he said. Hugh Roberts at Unite said London Underground's, lose, vague assurances about work-life balance and unsocial shifts did not give its members the security they need to plan their home life over the long term. He said, if not enough people sign up for night shifts, what happens then? LU has made it clear that people will effectively be forced to work with its insistence that staff are contracted to work 24-7. Not responsible. Steve Griffiths, London Underground's chief operating officer, said the union had demanded the hiring of even more staff and wanted to reverse modernization of customer service in tube stations. They expect our customers to pick up a bill running into hundreds of millions of pounds for this through higher fares or by forcing us to cut back investment to improve tube services in a rapidly growing city. No responsible management can give in to such demands, he added.